Hey, what is going on guys? RPZ Stealth here, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the best bot lane carries for patch 7.5. So beginning with the tier one champions for this patch, these are the best champions that you can play in this upcoming 7.5 for AD carry, or for the bot lane, I guess I should say. So first up here in the tier one is going to be Ziggs. So Ziggs, I'm not really too sure why he kind of fell off in popularity a little bit down in the bot lane. He's got a pretty low pick rate right now. Um, a lot of people, kind of just decided that I guess Jin and Varus were just too strong and they just stopped playing Ziggs I guess but Ziggs is still a really good pick down in the bot lane he still has his main strengths as to like why he was picked in the first place down in the bot lane he's got great poke in the laning phase he takes those towers super fast so if you do if you are playing with a Ziggs and you're playing jungle then what I would recommend to do is just try to camp that bot lane because if you get that one kill in the laning phase that tower is is gonna drop super fast and that's kind of why Ziggs is just such a great pick down in the bot lane. He also does have a much stronger like mid game and an early game than a lot of the other AD carry champions which does allow him to like snowball a lot harder and it does allow him to have a much greater influence on the game at least for the first like 25 to 30 minutes. Now for when and when you should not pick Ziggs, Ziggs is actually a great pick in this meta because there's a lot of AD champions being played both in the top lane, the mid lane, and in the jungle. So if your team does have a pretty heavy AD comp, look to pick him in that situation for sure. He doesn't really have any hard counters, I'd say, in the laning phase though, so you can pretty much like pick him into anything and you can at least go even in the laning phase. So next up here is going to be Twitch. Now Twitch did get indirectly buffed last patch with the fervor changes and they are actually helping him out quite a bit. He also is getting a decent change in this patch or Blend of the Ruined King is getting a change in this patch. I'm not completely sure if these changes to Blade are going to help Twitch out a lot. They are increasing like the movement speed on it and they're also increasing the duration of the movement speed that the uh, active gets on Blade but they are reducing the attack speed in increasing the damage and then increasing the lifesteal. So there's some pretty like big changes to that item in this patch. I'm not too sure if it's going to make Twitch like that much stronger because they are removing the attack speed from it. But nevertheless, Twitch is still like one of the best late game uh, AD carries that you can play mainly because like a four or five item Twitch is basically just going to be able to solo carry a game. As long as he can just sit in the back line with his ultimate, he's going to be able to pump out a load of damage. And I would say like, if there's one AD carry that I'd want to have on my team in a late game team fight, then it would definitely be Twitch. Now what I also like about him a lot is that he's one of the only AD carries that does have great roaming potential due to his Q. So if you get ahead with Twitch in the laning phase, let's say that you take the enemy tower, then you should definitely look to roam mid or look to go top because I, a lot of times like people just don't expect you to be there and a lot of the time you're just going to be able to pick up a very free kill. And then as for when and when you should not look to pick Twitch, the only time that I would really not pick him is if you're like last pick on your team and you see the enemy team, they have like a lot of engage, they've got like a Malphite top lane and a Vi in the jungle, then Twitch is going to struggle against those champions just because he does not have a gap closer and therefore if Vi locks onto you in a team fight, you're basically dead right away. But other than that, he doesn't really have any champions in the laning phase that really hard counter him. Ziggs, as you can see, here is one of the only AD carries that is doing pretty good against him right now. So if the enemy team does lock Ziggs and you're not confident in that matchup, then that's really the only situation that I would not look to pick Twitch. So next up here is going to be Misfortune, and Misfortune is getting a little change in this patch. She is also kind of getting an indirect nerf because they are nerfing Deathfire Touch in this patch. It's going from a 60% AD uh, scaling on it down to a 45% now, so that does hit MF a little bit, but honestly, she is still going to be a great AD carry in this patch because Jin and Varus are also getting hit like with a few nerfs in this patch, and therefore, even though MF is getting nerfed, Nerfed, I really don't think it's going to bring her down in power in comparison to a lot of the other AD carries. She's still going to have great team fight potential. She's probably the best team fight AD carry that you can play. And she's also one of the easiest and most effective AD carries just because all you've got to do with MF in a team fight is use your ultimate at the right situation and you can just single handedly win your team games by doing that. 
And then as for when and when you should not pick MF, I would say that if the enemy team does have a lot of high mobility champions, then I would not pick her in that situation, just because if they can get out of your ultimate in a team fight very easily, then it is going to be hard for you to be super effective. But other than that, there really isn't any champions that hard counters her in the laning phase. You do start the longsword and three pots on MF, so even if you do get chunked a little bit in lane, you are still going to be able to have a pretty good laning phase. And then to round out the tier 1s for this patch is going to be Jin. So in 7.5, Jin is going to get a little bit weaker because of the Deathfire touch changes, but in comparison to a lot of the other AD carries, he's still going to stay a great pick for solo queue. The main reason to why Jin is strong is because of the long range utility that he provides with his ultimate and his W, and the amount of damage that he can pump out, like with his 4 shot crit, and just the amount of uh, burst he can do like in a mid to late game team fight. And Unless they nerf the numbers on Jin, let's say they nerf his Q damage or his ultimate's damage, then that could bring him down in power. But the utility that he brings for an AD carry is just way too strong to like bring him down in power with these little changes to like Deathfire Touch and to his ultimate slow. So in this upcoming patch, I would definitely still look to pick Jin as one of your top AD carries. I would definitely keep him up there in priority. And then a few champions that do pretty well against Jin. As you can see here, Twitch generally does do pretty well against him. I think the main reason to why Twitch does well against Jin is because Twitch can just open up like from stealth with his ultimate on Jin, and Jin really doesn't have enough damage right away to end up dealing with that Twitch and to end up winning that duel. So for example, in the laning phase, if Twitch bases, he comes back to lane and he just opens up with his ultimate on you, then you're gonna lose that trade a lot of the time and unless you do flash out then twitch is probably just going to kill you so i think that's why uh, twitch is a pretty good pick against Jin. misfortune also does pretty well against him because um in the laning phase misfortune she's just going to out damage you and out burst you so those are two champions that you can look to pick against him to some pretty good success but other than that i really don't think that there's any other champions that are going to hard counter you in the laning phase or that are going to give you a lot of trouble and then in the tier 2 for this patch, these champions are going to be Varus, Draven, Jinx, Kogma, Caitlyn, and Ezreal. So I want to take a look here at Varus and Ezreal more in depth. So for Varus, he's getting a pretty big nerf here in 7.5. He's getting a nerf to the cooldown on his Q, and he's also getting a damage nerf to his Q. And I guess you could also count the Deathfire touch nerf. So he's getting basically three nerfs in 7.5, which is definitely going to bring him down in power here. I I think that crit Varus might be a little bit stronger now. We will have to wait and see, but Lethality Varus is definitely getting a lot weaker for 7.5 here. And then for Ezreal in 7.5, he's actually getting a pretty good change because Blood of the Ruined King, it's getting changes to where they're increasing the AD on the item, they're increasing the lifesteal, but they're reducing the attack speed. So I think that for Ezreal, you would definitely take the reduction in the attack speed for the increase in AD because a lot of your damage as Ezreal, it does come from your Q. Obviously, you still want to auto attack with the champion, but the lifesteal and the more AD on the item now I think it's going to be a lot better for him in 7.5. He also did get an indirect buff with the fervor changes in 7.4. So for Ezreal in this patch, I think he's going to be a pretty good pick. I would not pick him though unless you're practiced on the champion because I see way too many Ezreal players just not know how to play the champion correctly. If you played him a good bit, then I would recommend picking him up. But if you haven't, definitely practice him in normals before you do head into ranked. And then lastly, the tier 3 champions are going to basically be any champion that I didn't mention in the tier 2 or in the tier 1, besides maybe like Corky or Urgot. Those two AD carries would probably be like tier 4 and basically unplayable right now. So they, those would be champions like Vayne or Ash or Sivir. I don't really think those AD carries are really worth being picked in this patch unless you do have a lot of practice on them. There's just other stronger AD carries right now, so I would not pick them up unless you have played them a ton and you think that they're your best pick for an 80 carry so that is going to be all for this video guys if you did enjoy then please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you have yet to already so thanks for watching have an awesome day and i will see you in my next video